so we have question five it says arrestor beds are used to help moving trucks to come to a stop when the brakes fail the driver of 30,000 kg truck driving down a steep road drives onto an ascending arrestor bed inclined at 28 degrees to the horizontal as shown in the diagram below now 5.1 says state the work energy theorem in weight let's go check it out so the work energy theorem states that the network done on an object is equal to the object's change in kinetic energy the truck with fail brakes passes point a at the beginning of the arrestor bed at a speed of 33 meters per second so they gave us 33 meters per second for this point a the average frictional force on the truck is 31,000 newton while the truck moves up the arrestor bed ignore the rotational effects of the wheels now 5.2 says give a reason why the net work done on the truck while moving on the arrestor bed is negative now we do understand that when the truck is moving up this arrestor bed um the forces that will be acting here will be moving down the slope starting with the with the component of fg which is fg parallel it will be sliding down the slope and then what else again we have the frictional force which will also be sliding down the slope as you can see we don't have any forces that will be going up the slope both these forces are going down the slope and they're acting in the opposite direction to the displacement of the truck so the displacement of the truck is up the slope but the net forces are down the slope so hence we have a negative um, work done on the truck because the net forces are acting in the opposite direction so the net forces are acting on the opposite direction to the displacement of the object or both the parallel component of weight and the frictional force are in opposite directions to the displacement of the object Wow. 5.3 says use energy principles to calculate the minimum length of the arrestor bed needed to bring the truck to a stop right so we must calculate the minimum length but we know the length that, they, that they're talking about here is actually the displacement right now to bring it to a stop needed to bring it to a stop we know once we see this weight this indicates that our v finally must be zero meters per second but what is the v initial the v initial we've been given at the beginning of um a it's 33 meters per second right now remember we must use energy principles remember the trick that i gave you is if they ask you to state the work energy theorem then it is best to also use the work energy theorem in order to calculate so let's rush to it we say work done by FG parallel plus the work done by FK is equals to change in EK, right? Then having to substitute, we have MG sine theta because that's FG parallel and then delta X cos theta plus FK delta X um, cos theta is equal to half m vf squared minus vi squared so what is my mass mass of the truck is 30,000 and then we have g that's 9.8 sine theta is of the incline and then we have this delta x we are looking for then cos theta between um, the displacement and the force is 180 degrees plus fk we've been given to be 31,000 and then multiply by the delta x cos 180 degrees and then is equals to half 30,000 and then the vf remember comes to a stop so we are trying to make the truck to come to a stop that zero then initially we had 33 now if you punch all this in your calculator 
that should get you negative 169,024. Point six three nine. Then delta x is equal to, if you punch all this in your calculator, it should get you negative 1, 6, 3, 3, and then 5, triple zero. Then at this point, we need to divide both sides by this number here. Negative 1, 6, 9, 0, 2, 4, point six three nine and then also this side six three nine and then what do we have what delta x is equal to ninety six point six four meters Now 5.1 says which arrestor bid or rather the diagram below shows the same truck entering a descending arrestor bid inclined at 28 degrees to the horizontal. The initial speed of the truck and the average frictional force on the truck are 33 meters per second and 31,000 newton respectively. So they haven't changed it from the above diagram. Then 5.4 which arrestor bid ascending or descending will will be able to stop the truck in a shorter distance explain the answer in terms of the forces acting on the truck so with here we understand that um, the forces will present themselves in this way the FG parallel will slide down the surface since it always slides down the surface and the FK this time will be acting up the slope right but then for here we have the fk down the slope and then the fg parallel is also down the slope so which one will be able to um make the truck stop in a shorter distance it is obviously the ascending one because you can see the net forces are acting in the opposite direction of motion or in the opposite direction of the displacement so this one is able to stop because all the forces are against the motion bringing the truck to a stop but with this one only the the kinetic force is opposing the direction of motion or is opposing the direction of the displacement so two forces are better than one so that means um we have ascending ascending so when ascending the net force is acting on the opposite direction of motion both the fg parallel and the frictional force are in opposite directions but when descending only the kinetic frictional force is acting on the opposite direction of motion and that's it